guys, how are you doing today? Time for some Sacha. Hi everybody, how are you doing? If there's something in my teeth, forgive me, I just got finished eating, so I didn't look in the mirror. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great. We um we had over 3,200 or 3,200 cases, more cases of COVID-19, positive cases in Arizona. Um, I'm not sure how the breakdown went, what counties, whatever, but our governor has issued a mandate basically saying that in certain counties you have to wear the mask um certain cities phoenix the one that i live in and you know a couple of others you have to wear masks so that's that i'm i'm sure there will be a lot of people that's pissed off about it and oh well you'll be all right stay home you don't want to wear your mask or i guess some would probably say you stay home if you you do want to wear yours, whatever. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I didn't do much shopping this week because uh, mm -hmm. I didn't go to the boutique. I did go to this antique store called the Brass Armadillo, and I love that place. I'm trying to get some lotion out of this thing, but it's not coming out. So, just a second. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> so I'm using the Secret Mud Therapy Hand Cream. It's going to be backwards because I didn't turn the camera around. So, like I said, I didn't do much shopping. I did go to the antique store and I did pick up a couple things. I was in there just looking around. Excuse me. So... I did get these. And I have a space for them. I think I'm going to put them in my bathroom because I'm redecorating my room, my bedroom and my my bathroom. So and this. Now I'm going to take these off. I might leave these on because they're green and this is actually the color of my bedroom now. But I'm going to take the blue ones off and probably replace them with like maybe gold or something. Because I have gold and this color and like the cream color. And also a little bit of turquoise in there. So we'll make it look cute. And I think, I'm not, not sure if it was the last video or not, but one video ago. I said that my husband and I had gone to this little town and we walked around and we went into this antique store and um sorry and um he did buy me a couple of things but I got this don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I guess you hang it up it says something about a light catcher or something like that and I just got it because it had butterflies in it so I might put it in my car one day and I also got these candles so I got three of these and I think it was like three for 15 because there was not a price on it and she was like I don't know what the price on that because the lady who owned the store left she's like um what about the three of them for 15 I was like that's fine and I had gotten this one from Goodwill a while back so it's actually the same candle so I have two of these and then so that was pretty much, oh, no, no, no. I did get a, a jacket the last time I was in Goodwill. I didn't go yesterday. Well, Thursday, I didn't go. But I got this jacket. And it's actually pretty nice. It has pockets on the side, the zip in the front. It's by a brand called Susan Graver Style. And I got this for one dollar so you can't beat that all right now 
let's get into this. Well, no, before we get into discussion, the discussion, let's address this foolishness right here. It's backwards. Perfect edge control by Softy from the Dollar Tree. You know what? Caution, caution, there is danger. Save your dollar. Go buy a, a cheeseburger or something. Also, this, I told you guys that, um, I showed you guys I was using, that I'd used the nails, the press-on nails or whatever they're called, and I used this nail glue right here. And this is the Kiss Power something, Power X, Power Lex brush-on nail glue. My nails came off that same day. I think within maybe two hours of me putting it on, the nails were gone. Anyway, let's get into this discussion. All right. Those of you who are friends with me on Facebook probably already heard about this or read about it, but I didn't go into full detail um, about this conversation. So there was more to it. I just didn't put all that in there. So one of my previous videos, I was talking about this girl that posted something and um, you and I you know, kind of went back and forth on it and and I said that she didn't get it. And I made the video about that. And I, so anyway, we talked about it. I told her how I felt about stuff like that. Whatever I said, if you want to post that on your page, that's fine. But it trickles over to my page. And you know that I don't want to see that. So when it comes to posting it, when it says post to friends other than put my name in that slot. Because I don't want to see it. If it shows up on my page, then yeah. So anyway, she posted this. And it showed up on my page. Now, I got my computer here because I want to read to you guys the exchange that happened between us. Okay. Of course, it says the blood of American heroes was spilled for both of these flags and both deserve honor and respect. Okay. There was no person's name up there. Like she, maybe she shared it from somebody else's post. If she had, it would have shown who originally posted it. So this came from her. I'm not stupid. Anyway, I said, it's not about the flag itself for me. It's about what it represents to my people, meaning black people, which was anything but honor and respect for us. The flag would never get any viewing from me other than contempt. I'm sorry you feel otherwise. Now, when I say the flag, I was basically talking about the Confederate flag, although the U.S. Anyway, I was talking about the Confederate flag. All right. So now I'm going to. Ouch. I'm going to read to you what she said back to me. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Just a second. All right. Wait a minute. I got to find it. It was just here and now it's gone. Okay. Um, dang it. She wrote a freaking novel. I hate when people go into talking about some shit that don't have nothing to do with what the, the conversation is about. They bringing in other bullshit. Okay, so it, she said, do you realize that the war actually started over taxation? First of all, the post was not about a, a flag. Anyway, that was over taxation. That was, she has no period. So guys, I'm going to read it just like she wrote it. Do you realize that the war actually started over taxation that was going to be put on the South that would have gone up to 46% in three years? Yes, part of this was also because of slavery. The flag is a reminder of the past, yes. 
but it is so that the past does not get repeated. If people forget and are not taught, then she has the nerve to, no, she didn't, I'm lying. Then the past will repeat itself. You cannot erase history. We can learn from the past so that we are always moving forward, hopefully in a better way. For every person like Martin Luther King, Claudette Colvin and Rosa Parks, who fought for the rights of black people, the symbols of the past are a reminder of what they fought and won against. So let's not forget them. What, what the fuck, fuck are you talking about? Nancy Green, who went from being a slave to being on the box of Aunt Jemima in 1890. This, hope, this, this lady gave me a history lesson, or so she thought. And, and what is her name? Okay. Aunt Jemima in 1890 and becoming a celebrity and wealthy off. What? And wealthy off her position. She was proud of what she had accomplished. PepsiCo is now going to remove her because it is not politically correct to show an amazing black lady that overcame and made it better for not only herself but others. She has been on that box in the syrup for 130 years. Do you see you are erasing yourselves from history? So how the i I'm erasing us from history? How, how, how am I doing that? I'm not Pepsi-Cola. Anyway, I said, the part about slavery is enough for me. Because she said it wasn't really about taxation. Well, part of it was about slavery. So I answered the part about slavery was enough. I don't care about that other stuff. I ain't got nothing to do with So anyway, I said the part about slavery is enough for me. How could we ever forget the past when it's shoved in our faces every day by other people's actions? Basically meaning the way that they act. Tell us to go back to our country. You know, you not want to hear. All kinds of stuff like that. Okay. All of the talks about MLK, Aunt Jemima, and the others have nothing, nothing to do with that flag. This conversation is about the Confederate flag. Everything else is extra. So then she said, then I said, maybe some of it was about taxation, tax, taxes, but not all. I know my history, trust. All of these taxes and revenues, all of those taxes and revenue generated off of the backs of slaves and the South did not want to lose that. So she had the audacity to tag me in a post about Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln saying that the war was not about slaves, it was about taxes. Bullshit. So, she said, okay, Lisa, I do not want to ruin our friendship over over this. Friends do not always see things the same way, and that is where we are at. I value your friendship and don't want to lose it. I said, the sheer fact that you even posted that about the flag makes me question our friendship. I believe that if you can't or won't understand why I feel as I do, then it's not much of a friendship anyway. I say that because we've already had this conversation, ho. Oh. So, and then I said the reality that you even felt the need to reference something from Lincoln was an insult to me. I do believe that as a people, we know what the flag represents for us. You will never understand. And as my friend, that is what bothers me. So, she got blocked. I blocked her ass. Now, it wasn't just because of that. Since that first post that I made about her, she's been saying little things here and there, posting little things. And so, what really and truly got her blocked was after that conversation, she didn't say anything else. But I... um. I saw the post again on my page and it was devoid of our conversation. So I'm like, okay, well maybe she erased the conversation and just left the post. So I went to her page and she had the, the post with our conversation and then I reposted another conversation. During the time when we were having our little chat, she reposted that again. 
So that lets me know that you don't give a shit about what I feel and how I feel. So, and then the, the mess came on my page again. So I blocked her ass. 10 years of friendship or whatever the hell it was. It's gone now because I'm done with her. I had another one that did the same thing. I got rid of her ass too. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. There's this lady that posted. If you guys are friends with me on Facebook, you've seen this. I have a picture of me and a banner that says around me that says Black Lives Matter. In my post about the picture, I said, not like I felt like I had to do a disclaimer because I could say what the hell I want to say. I'm a grown woman. But I said, not that other lives don't matter. Not that all lives don't matter, but this is about the black ones. Thanks. I think that was all I said. Let me make sure. I don't want to lie. So I'll show you. That's the picture. So it says, not that all lives don't. Well, right now we are talking about the black ones. Thanks. So this heifer said, all lives matter in our Lord's eyes. Eyes. Yeah, please. I said, unfortunately, our Lord is not the only one looking. Don't play with me. So she didn't say anything to that. <laughs> what can she say? Okay, so guys, tell me how you feel about it. Um, some people may not feel that the flag represents anything. Now, me personally, the South was fighting. They went to war because they didn't want things to change. Along with that change, it might have been about taxing and all that too. But along with that change came the fact that they would not be having slaves anymore and they wouldn't have free labor anymore. So because of that part is what the Confederacy represents to me is why I was insulted by the fact that her as my friend would post that, period. When I post something that might, have been, might be offensive to somebody, I have something on there like, look at this or what do you think of this or thoughts or something like that. But because of the way she posted it, it lets me know that's how she feels. Honor and respect for a flag that meant um, slavery, ownership, which is slavery, um, sadness, depression, hard times. All of that, anything that you can think of that was negative is what that flag represents to me. And I can speak for my people too. So that flag does not deserve respect and honor from me. And it never will get respect and honor from me. I don't know if you guys saw that video about the lady who um, this guy came to her house to do some work. I don't know if I said this before, but I did. I'm sorry came to her house to do some work and he had a flag or a confederate flag waving on the back of his truck and she told him you know sir thank you for coming but we don't need your services and he said something like well i'll take it down she said no no because the thing is you had the nerve the audacity to come to my house he may not have known that they were black i don't know but either way you had the nerve to come with the confederate flag on the back of your truck so guys, let me know how you feel about that. I mean, do you feel that the Confederate flag represents a bad time, an evil time, or a, 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 just a bad time in our history for our people and that we should not have to respect it and honor it? Now, had she said the soldiers that lost their lives and blood shed, I can agree with that because those soldiers didn't have much of a choice. The majority of them didn't have much of a choice. They did what they had to do. So yeah, I mean, lives were lost and whether they were for the, the hell, whether they were for the South or the North, there was still somebody's mother, excuse me, I said mother, brothers, um, father, uncle, daddy, whatever. So yes, for that, I could say I honor their lives. But that flag, nah. So guys, let me know what you feel about that. 
and yeah okay you know what let me show you I'll tell you about some of the things that she posted leading up to this so and I'm still going to show you it says good morning what are we offended by today That was one of the posts. Okay. Then she posted something like, you know the brainwashing is real when white people protest against white people for being white people. I don't know what the... F okay. Then she said, it's a picture of Archie Bunker from the... From a, what was she? All in the Family, I think it was. Archie was racist as hell, and so was George Jefferson. I'm just going to say it, but I would never post nothing like that. But she, it says, to all of you offended, you wouldn't have made it through an episode of me without having a meltdown. meltdown. The offended is in quotations. So, so it was little things like that that made me look at her sideways like, Okay, and why is all of this nonsense coming to my page? What are you saying? It might not have been about me, but for the sheer fact that she did it, and then that post about the flag, I was done with her. I was done. So guys, that's that's that. And I'm going to get up out of here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will talk to you guys later. So take care. Be good. Is that good? Try to be good. But if you can't be good, I'm going to do something good today, I promise. Be good at it.